What's going on, y'all? We are back again for another episode review of Survivor, y'all. This is season 46, episode 12, Mama Bear. I am your host, your favorite auntie, Momo, and I am joined here with my Survivor soul sister, Miss Jana. What's going on, Seth? How are you? How are you? celebrating this week's episode like oh my god we got we got a couple of staple standard survivors uh you know survivor standards sorry we got liz got liz when liz wins we win <laughs> liz took a shit can we just <laughs> applaud it <laughs> up shake i mean can we applaud for the fact that liz has taken a shit i'm happy for you liz I'm happy That's she the, said I feel about biggest, five like, pounds lighter. lighter. And I know that feeling. Yeah, really. I I know. Know. Yes. She said, I'm ready to play this game. What other survivor standards do we got, girl? Letters from home. That was, and I, you, we going to get into that. We going to get into that because I, I ain't like the way Maria acted with that. And then my overall thing is, is the idol curse this listen this, this season, season y'all all? said fuck it and i'm gonna stay i still stand with jess i still stand with jess she's the only one who played an idol even though it was fake she's a fake ass idol but she was the only one and she who had the, the balls to, to find it she didn't even put the energy in to find it and yet she still played it and every last one of you Every last one of you said, "All of you." I'm gonna play it tonight, one hundred percent. You said one hundred percent. Jess is the only one, the <laughs> only one that had the ball, the cojones to play an idol, a fake ass idol. But she's the only one that said what she did and did what she said. This is first Tevin with the extra vote. Then you got uh, Tiff Hunter. Venus and our Q four more foes in a row voting and out with an idol. Is that a survivor? This this is definitely a survivor record. There is history. This is going down in survivor history. Every survivor idol left uh, idol left in someone's pocket this season. And at first, I was saying that this this see, I was in the beginning like it's boring, it's not giving. No, but it's looking kind of back, like up. it really is. Like it's 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 giving. Like they didn't know the gameplay has been real. Shit yeah, here, again, really like weird. we said last week, have has anybody actually seen a season? <laughs> has anybody even watched? Maria has. Maria's the only one. Maria and Charlie have basically Maria and Charlie have so. They fresh off the Venus vote, and like I had said at the end of our last review, why the hell did Ben even vote for Kenzie in the first <laughs> place? This nigga Ben said, I blanked out. My bad. Oops. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> and Kenzie, like, really, nigga? Of all the people that you could have blanked out and wrote their name, you wrote mine? Like her name wasn't even being thrown around, and you were in a history of those conversations. <laughs> and then just think if Venus would have played that idol, Kenzie would have went home on account of your dumb ass. Dumb ass. <laughs> on account of you just being like, oh, I forgot. I didn't. And he's like, I'm oh, my bad. It's, and, and I'm not, you know, he because he does suffer from panic attacks and night terrors. That's and right. like he said, he's not been himself lately. And still give it up to Kenzie because Kenzie's like, regardless of him, you know, voting, writing my name down. That's the first vote I got. And it was a damn ups, oopsie, baby, daisy, <laughs> damn mistake. God damn, man. <laughs> so, I can't trust you with no secrets, nigga, because I just don't know. Ben's I just there to be a vote because you have Ben, and then on the extreme other side you have Q. They're two absent-minded players. You just you kind of have to wrangle them to just make sure you yeah. got the plan, and then they go their own way. Y'all have been better off keeping Bonu at this point. Listen, <laughs> at least you could have trained him up, trained up a child. And, you and, he trained him up. and he he would have been a phenomenal player in gaining skills by now. Like he would have been flourishing. It would have been a beautiful story to see. Yeah, it was a train wreck to begin with, but I think Bonnie would have been doing a whole lot better at this point because I just I just don't even get it. I mean, I now, didn't who thought Liz was gonna last this long? I sure as hell didn't, especially I since didn't. she hadn't used the restroom and can't eat anything on that damn island except for rice. 
That's what I said. You can't shit. You can't eat. What you gonna do? Well, hey, this was. This can, was at least she can jump, not like Mo. <laughs> right. God bless you, Mo. But baby, I ain't, if I, I ain't never gonna let her leave. Live that shit down. You can't leap. You can't at least. <laughs> Do a like high. on the on the ground on the ground, not leaping off anything. Jump no, on you the ground, punch. come back to the ground. Why? That's to what me. we're talking about. Because when she said, "Oh, I don't," I was like, "Oh, you mean you can't jump off of things?" No, no, I can't jump. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Oh no, it's okay. They'll, they'll I'll be fine." Ooh. Like no. Her, I'm be okay. I'll be fine. I don't have to explain. No, baby. No, I'm gonna need you before the next before you get that next phone call to be on survival. I'm gonna need you to go to jumping classes. I don't care if it's jumping jacks, jumping rope, double dutch, bitch, cage diving. I'm gonna need you to learn how to jump, do something, bunny hop, skip, leap, jump, do the Dougie, do something. I'm gonna have to learn. You're gonna have to learn to do something, baby. Okay. Um, another thing I really didn't get is why Maria was crying because she said that she felt like Venus attacked her character and nobody has ever come at her that way. And looking, but I mean, of course, there's a lot of editing that goes on. Correct. We didn't see no back and forth between her and Maria. We only seen a back yeah. and forth between her and Q. So I feel like that's fucked up on production mm. part. So we can have more of a context as to why is Maria so upset? Because I'm damn sure one of them people like, what are you crying for? She didn't even say nothing to you. <laughs> she was talking to Q the whole damn time. But again, that's the power of editing. They could have had a whole back and forth. We don't know about it. But whatever it is, it's got Maria so upset. Girl, I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's honestly, I mean, she's won how many of the challenges? I mean, at last this of the is, rewards, she's been a part of how many of the rewards and like she had the opportunity to choose Liz and she made a whole big deal to not choose her. Yeah. And I think that's probably why, um, now that I think about it, that's probably why she was upset because you never know Venus with her vindictive ass probably bought that up. <laughs> like you, you claim to be somebody mama and this and the other, but you know, oh. this girl was up here starving and you ain't take her, you take Q and you don't even really fuck Q like that, but you're going to take her. I ate 23 slices. Right. If I get immunity and I didn't get immunity, but Maria got immunity and I had 23 slices of pizza. I and bet you Venus I took got a his ass. Every time homeboy said <laughs> immunity. Immunity. That needs to be the next for the finale. A drinking game. Every time he says immunity. And talk about strategy. Girl, he was like, I, I was just going to leave him, uh, when he's delusional. Thank you. Uh, Rob has a podcast. Okay. Um, that interview, exit interview was <laughs> phenomenal. Shout he, out uh, to Rob has a podcast, baby, because that damn <laughs> cue. Q is the king of Deluluville. He is the king, the, the the court jester, the sheriff in town. He runs the Delulu. And the I know Delulu, what y'all think A black sheriff. He is Shout the king of the Deluluville. Saddles. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Blazing Saddles, y'all. <laughs> now, Charlie... This is a pivotal point for Charlie and Maria. They realizing that they both are strong players and that they're going to have to. They're too strong. They're too strong. They both ha are leaders. They have no choice. And for them to make their game work, which was so ridiculous when they had their little sit down. But like they, they have no choice but to split you that you. It's kind of like you either stay, stick together and then it's a harder choice for the jury to decide mm -hmm. or you, you go the easy route and you got to break off with your best one. It always happens like this. But this is what I'm thinking of. Say Maria and Charlie were to make it to the final three some sort. What I just feel like even if Maria were to bring Charlie, what argument would you have? that would make them want to vote for you over me. Because quite honestly, I'm not a big, big fan of Maria, but the bitch is playing the hell out this game. That's what I'm saying. She's like, playing she the hell savage. out this game. She's the she only one being a, a, a survivor savage mode. Mama is, she's, she's a, a B. And I got to give credit where credit is due. Which is why 
I know this challenge fucked her up because of all the rewards she's won, that was the one that, she this wanted. This was the one she wanted, and she yeah. She didn't get it. And the one who deserved it got it. Now she said that her and Charlie made a pact that they would never take each other when they went on the reward challenge, right? That's another so, reason why we're like, huh. Because we, we didn't understand why she didn't pick Charlie out. Oh, she picked, you know, him over Q. But again, she's trying to keep Q, which again, as this episode shows, this dumb motherfucker Q going to find an immunity idol and tell Maria, go straight to Maria like a of dog to his people. owner. Of all people, why would you tell the most powerful? <laughs> Again, has anyone seen the season? Yep, Maria has. That's why she was so happy that he shared this information to her. Maria playing a fuck at this game. She really like, is. It's not even. It's not even. It's. 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 She's actually a really strong player he is. to be in an amateur league. For her, this her first time. On all levels, yep. She's really, she really, like, she's playing, like, a, not Parvati, but, like, she's she could hang with the big boys, she's, girls. Yeah, and you know team, what? The she's best. playing it from, from a mature level as well. Yeah, Not like, and she's playing very methodically. Not like, oh, they pissed me. Okay, they got to go. Or she was, okay, well, yeah, they got to go. Has no, foresight. She's, she's, she actually yes. has foresight. Nobody else yes. has the foresight in this game. Except for Charlie. It's slowly yeah. building up because now he knows the shift in her energy. But she's been the leading, the leader this whole time. I don't see anybody having a strong, no matter who makes it to the end against Maria, they're not going to win. Maria's Hell going to no. win if she makes it to the end. That's point blank. That's period. She's going to win when she gets to the end. Now, and, and what's cold about it is the way she done got blindsided so many damn people. They probably thinking it was somebody totally different that was leading the damn blind side. Don't even know that Maria was the one that was like a little ear. Like regardless when she make it to the end, she's going to damn win. That's why I even say, even if you do take Charlie, like if M Maria could play this one of two ways, you could get rid of your, your, you know, your, your competition, which is Charlie potentially if you make it to the final three with him at the same time, you could take him to the final three to show I am loyal. I am a woman of my word. I was a leader to him and he followed my lead. He trusted me. I was able to keep him by my side and keep this pack going. And I'm a beast at these challenges. And all of y'all trusted me and my name never came up until we were down to the final five. What can Charlie say? <laughs> well, I, I, I got, I got, I, I, um, I was I led by her out. the whole time and right. did all of her dirty work. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because again, if you, if you think about it, Charlie is close with Ben. Now Ben trusts Maria over anything and he trusts Maria over anything because Charlie trusts Maria. Mm hmm So if she, if, if she really thinking instead of getting, keep going, keep them. Yeah. Keep him, Why don't you just stay Sega strong? You. Just stay Sega strong. And then by that, then any any Sega wins outcome. And then on top of that, she could even say, that your name, Charlie, your name has come up a few times to be voted off, but I blocked them from voting you out. So technically, you're still here because of me. Me. <laughs> and the jury can even say, yeah, we were going to vote for you. Yes. But Maria <laughs> said, da 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 yeah. Like, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. getting passionate. I've been drinking, but it's like, Maria, think about no, it. Oh, no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She is a phenomenal amateur. Phenomenal. I haven't seen this type of talent in a She's long good. time in the game. Yeah. yeah. So, being, um, not being, um, Charlie trying to keep his options open. Either he could go <laughs> with, um, of course, he could go with Maria and Q. Don't nobody really fuck with you, so that's you know one person. No one, absolutely nobody. no one. At the final six, none of these are final. Yes, yeah, five is it five? None yeah, of these people five. are fucking with Q at this moment. <laughs> Liz definitely isn't. No, <laughs> um, Kenzie really except for Maria. Oh, and Liz and Kenzie definitely are not. 
Ben and really, really not, made, yeah. Has made, there was no reason for him to ever strategize with this man because he was with Maria and Charlie. Team Sega. But you know what? If it's 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 whoever goes to the end with Ben or Liz, then the two you want to keep with you all the way to the final three, really to the final four, unless they know how to make fire good. <laughs> Right. To have them, you know what I mean? Because Ben has not made a single gameplay. And Liz, Liz claims she was on the Tevin vote, but we don't know that. The jury doesn't know that. Even us from the mm-hmm. audience, we don't even really for sure know if that was your move. Like, when was she talking about that when we've always heard Venus? It was, we were, right. and, and again, if that's the case, then that's fucked up production. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's, that's real fucked up. It's real fucked up. <laughs> You really can like get Liz like well, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And then I mean, even Kenzie, what game moves did you make, Kenzie? Because your move was gonna be Tiff, but Maria took that from you. Jacked it so quickly. So then Maria can say up uh, up. You I, didn't know but, that exactly. You were blindsided about it, but I executed it. So either one of them three, you good going to the end with either one of them three because they have no real story to tell the jury. I mean, it sucks. No Tino Shade, but especially Ben or Liz, like especially Ben. Like, no, like those what? are all puppets. They're all <laughs> and like he was the biggest goal. puppet of, the, of them all. But like he was just he thinks he he was more important. No, when he went left mentally, that's when like, that's why Maria was like, yeah, no, 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 (laughs) no, no. A real player is like, no, I'm going to maneuver this one because that's Mm -hmm. so low until we don't need it anymore. And now's the time we don't need that energy anymore. We needed chaos. See, that's how she was. That was the foresight she was playing with. She knew he was going to go rogue. I, I'm not a, like Ben I said, I wasn't going to do that. She, that. But, but Ben wasn't. Ben wasn't. Mm-hmm, I, that's, mm-hmm. Those are the two extremes of those two votes. Yep. And then Liz is actually the third. <laughs> and that's I don't Liz. know where Liz fits in either. Liz that's is bouncing Liz. back. And <laughs> I think that's she's going to stay on that as the bowel movement. Like, I'm I'm happy for berserk. her, though. I've gone berserk when I haven't had mine. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference. <laughs> So I'm crazy when I took a shit. You just don't know. Okay. I was, I was crazy. I'm glad that she got, I'm glad that she had a bowel movement before she got Chinese food. I agree. I was happy because I was like, if nothing else, that Chinese food was damn sure gonna move that shit through you. So Charlie, <laughs> Charlie won the the was it the reward challenge. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, with the reward, you know, the Chinese food, Chinese takeout at the sanctuary, plus um letters from home. And again, he didn't choose Maria because that was the part of their strategy. And although Maria, Maria felt she, like Maria's you know, been on a couple, but she yeah, she's had enough. Yeah. And like Charlie said, the people that didn't eat pizza yesterday, <laughs> y'all are coming on the reward if I won today. And then Maria back at camp crying because I can just, da, 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 da. I'm, I'm, I get it as a mother. You can picture your kids of writing course. these letters and you, you know, they're so excited for you to read the letters and you don't get to read them, da, 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 da. But at the same time, what was you just saying last night? Liz got right. She good. Oh, oh. Ain't that oh. what you just said last night? Ain't Liz that, got right. She good. <laughs> Check this right. out. You got Charlie and Q. I mean, ben and Q. You good? Cut. Yeah. You got me in the queue over there. You good? You you're gonna be fine, girl. Okay, you, you gonna you be fine. Just mom, like was, so okay. guess what you get to do tonight on two, the island? Got, that's right. You got two you big got head two. ass, naughty nose ass kids to watch over, mama. You got two two of the three okay. boys right there. Be a mama to them motherfuckers right there. Okay, baby. I, I that was I didn't feel. I mean, karma. I'm sorry. That, that was, was karma. karma. That was played karma. out yeah. beautifully. That was karma. beautifully. I didn't feel I bad at all. Chinese food was a good balance for Liz too to have. Because it is rice based dishes too. I would, would have protein. Yeah. It's soon and you know what I like too? I like how much fun Liz has when she does those challenges. Do you hear her when she gets something accomplished? She's like, hell yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Like, like, oh, let's, yeah. Let's, let, let's give Liz is <laughs> represents <laughs> the coolest white best friend you grew okay. up with. <laughs> like that was your girl. <laughs> and she didn't care about yeah. anybody. And she was out here and she was a straight nerd, but she <laughs> A straight she nerd, but that so was your bad. nigga, though. Oh, yeah, I got one too. I got two of them. My white girlfriend, I mean, my white homegirl, Amy, what's up? She is straight nerd, but I love that white nigga right there. I love her, man. That's my girl. <laughs> Esther, Who also has dietary restrictions. Girl. Shout yeah. out to Lori Jane, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I yes, love this. That, 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 that was it was a strong woman energy. She was definitely Ani DeFranco energy. She was definitely let's go to Lilith Fair. Let's yes, go to yes. at a festival in a couple of days. <laughs> but she never got dreadlocks. She never got dreadlocks. No, That's she how was not with the cultural appropriation. That yeah, she didn't, yeah. She wasn't with that. She knew she was white and she stayed in her white lane. Them the kind of friends I like. Them the kind of white friends They're I'm like. Best. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to do too much for me. You white and Shout you stay in your white lady. All the white lady. ladies that you still repping. Shout out to my girl Lauren who took me to go see the color purple, and we kept seeing <laughs> white friends with their black friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or black, or black girls, black girls with like their white husband or somebody. <laughs> like, see, I'm I'm see the color purple. Uh, how come? How come ain't none of my white friends take me to see the color purple? I'm, I'm Broadway, offended. on Broadway, not the movie on Broadway. Not the movie. I want to go to take me to Manhattan, baby. I want to go to for real, for real. Jesus, okay. my goodness. I like no, that's all anyway, I need. Though. That's who I need. That's that's the white women I who love me. That the fun ones, okay. Um. And so y'all can have all the, the black um, you want. <laughs> okay. have, my permission. have all, I don't care who you get. Good luck. I mean, congratulations. I didn't mean to say good luck. She said good luck. Congratulations. So back at the camp, Q finds the idol. And like I said, like a big ass a dog with a bone, he runs back to Maria and tells Maria. Maria could have flipped that a couple of ways. Even if she knew that the vote was going on cue, she still could have secretly told him to play his idol and she could have wrote down Charlie's name to get him out that way. Has she been thinking about the shit? But Q like a dog, like a dog, like a little dog. He said, I found the immunity idol and I'm gonna play the immunity on you. Like, if you don't win. To her for, like, like, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> exactly like Scooby. He was waiting on a Scooby snack. He was that proud of himself. Like, look here, boss. Look what I did. Can I get my Scooby snack now? Only for her to not let your ass know that you getting voted the hell out. And just playing in your face. Playing and this was the first face. time that we actually... Charlie's face, too. Yeah, this was the first time we actually got to see all the votes before Jeff announce it when i seen that i felt like um q was getting ready to play his idol because why would you show us all the votes we already know what it is thinking that q was going to play his damn idol or something no so that's your dumb ass i'm sorry because q was thinking his logic was i can save it this vote while we down to the final six and I can use it for the final five to guarantee my spot in the final four. Because he said he's a master at making fire. So even if he had to do a fire challenge, he knew he was going to win that. But again, you got too cocky. You got too fucking comfortable. Okay. If anything, you play that damn idol to guarantee your ass another spot tonight. Any of and then you all Like, I don't know why tomorrow. any of y'all. Like, I don't know. That was a guarantee. All you ever want in Survivor is a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Who the fuck cares if you flush it out? You use that same energy on the next one. Don't come. Like, we're talking about Russell. Russell created the whole new strategy of finding a damn immunity, immunity idol. Immunity, immunity. Revamp the whole cry. Like, who the fuck are y'all? <laughs> did y'all watch that season? <laughs> Obviously not. No, I don't no. think you did. <laughs> they watched the latest season of Survivor, and that's it. They watched the latest season, maybe the last two seasons, and that's it. They haven't gone all the way back 
to the Boston Rob days or to the Parvati days or to the Sandra Diaz days or the Sari days or uh, uh, the what was his name? The other one that I love so daggone much, I can't even Jeremy days. <laughs> Jeremy. Shit. Right. Okay, the Russell days. They don't know yeah. nothing about that. Okay, the first motherfucker, the first nigga that went home with two idols in his pockets. What was his name? That black dude. I forgot. I forgot. We, we said it. In a, black yeah, dude. we said it in a in an earlier episode. Who the first in history? Two fucking idols in your pockets. You went home with your dodo bird. You doodle bird. What were you thinking, man? God. It wasn't. So, and what I found crazy, well, not not really too much, not thinking back on it, is uh, Maria didn't tell Charlie that Q had that immunity idol. She was the only one that knew that and was like, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just going to let him walk again. She's, she's a very, she's a good ass player. She's like, oh yeah, I'm not going to say nothing to nobody. About yeah. nothing, about nothing. She knows like, it's going to blow up in his face one way or another. She's not going to be responsible for whatever happens, and she don't. Yeah, I. That's yeah. I, I wouldn't want to tell anybody else either. I would want to sit back and watch the show <laughs> with my with my uh, immunity challenge necklace. Hell yeah, <laughs> that part. I'm watching this you, niggas. I'm happens. sleeping good. To, sleeping real good tonight. Guarantee. You see that? A guarantee. Girl. You had out four. Of y'all had a guarantee in your pocket. How's that feel? So, pretty much everybody already knows that Maria and Q are, you know, a whole alliance. And the plan was to get Maria's ass out. They go. I'm sorry, you niggas is gonna have to put on your Reeboks, eat your Survivor Wheaties, have you a Survivor Celsius. You are gonna have to get up. You gonna have to be a little bit quicker than that. To be Maria, because Maria cannot be stopped in these challenges. Okay, shout out to my bitches in their forties. Okay, because she's showing you how it's done. She works out. You can already see she's active. I mean, she's good. Maria, if she is solid, telling y'all, she is a solid woman. I haven't seen one in a long ass time on Survivor. Yep, solid. Like Game I said, Maria play. was my one, two, um, Maria was like my four or five. She was my third. She was my third. She was definitely my we, top it three. Was, it was Kevin, Kevin Tiff, Kenzie. I was Tevin, Tiff, Kenzie. Did we say Q? Uh, hell, well, I think I did say Q. Yep, I think I said Tiff. No, Tevin, Tiff. Q, oh, Venus Kenzie and Marina. Was... Now nah, Venus wasn't in there for me. Oh, okay. Nah. So Maria was is uh, was up in my top five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think I said Tevin, Soda, and Maria. So my only two left, yeah, are are Maria and Kenzie. The only way I feel like Kenzie could win is if she goes to the end with Ben or she has Liz. to make her a little trickery. Yeah. Yeah. She if she goes trickery. to the end with Ben or She's Liz. Have to win a challenge. And really, yeah. And really if they band together, I mean, who I don't know what immunity challenge they could have to to for a possibility <laughs> for them to win unless it's stocks. Don't 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 Liz do stocks. I mean something that, that can play to their strength some sort of way. Because if it's physical, they're Numbers. probably just not going to win. It's either going to be Ben, I'm mean, just they're gonna be Charlie and Maria that win. They're the brain versus challenge. Braun. Yeah. It's She's gonna Braun. be, yeah, he's clearly not brain, baby. <laughs> Thank God he handsome because he ain't got a whole lot of whole lot of. So, like Maria and Tiffany are both brain yeah. and Braun. Yeah. So and Hunter, if Brain they're Ambrose. smart, they'll. Tr- I mean, try your best, little engine that could try to win this you know, immunity challenge, and y'all gonna have to get Maria out because if Maria makes it to the end, the only way she <laughs> wouldn't make it, even if she makes it to the final four, if somebody puts her in a fire challenge and she loses by <laughs> fire, which would still be fucked up. If I was Maria, I want to fight everybody. Like, really, I get to fire <laughs> and I lose by fire. I'm burning this whole thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm burning this shit down. I'm yeah. burning this shit down, baby. Go ahead and arrest me for terroristic threats because it's going down, okay? But I'm interested. Is the next week is the finale? 
I believe so. Yeah. Yes, y'all. This has been a good ride so far. <laughs> I'm definitely. I, I have no I clue who can win. Probesy, put me on <laughs> Probesy. <laughs> Put me on. Probably. I was thinking about it because the the um commercial they did was like your kids are you listen to your kids and you know like I seen that too. I, yeah, mm-hmm. sit your ass down somewhere, probably. Ain't nobody gonna do all that shit. Sit your pretty dimples down, sir. Okay, okay. In, your, in your khakis. Oh, I love with your too. with with those calves. Those calves are still are they real? They're real. I think they're real. You know everything in, in Hollywood. Put it down below what you say, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing that I can't stand is when Q gets <laughs> voted out. When anybody lately has been getting voted out, I can't stand this fake ass. Bye, we love you. I love you. <laughs> You're so great. We love you, Liz. Liz was the one that said that shit. Bye, Q. Love you. No, she didn't did love not. you. I was like, Liz, <laughs> bitch, I had faith in you. I was rooting for you. <laughs> and you did this fake ass shit here. You see, that was I what I was going to say between um, Charlie and Maria. That was a, a lot of high talk for Maria. Like, I'm going to have to bet. I'm going to see my best friend in this game walk out. I hope he hugs me. Girl. And the joke and was on like, you. I love you him, didn't but... even look up. You didn't even look up when it said Q th- number three, <laughs> vote number three, because it was tied two to two. And then you were like, "Oh, happy and mighty." And then it came crumbling down. <laughs> so ding dong, the Q was gone. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I do appreciate he was still no, in good spirits. Wonderful. Yes. You He's going to be a great he, member on the jury too. Oh, so. hell yes. Hell yes. I I'm I'm I am very interested to see <laughs> what question he has for whoever the final 3 is and how they will explain to him what happened when it came to his vote and him being voted out. That is definitely going to be very, very interesting. I know the jury looks pissed. Everybody on that jury looks pissed. Blindside nation. Blindside nation. No. <laughs> if anything, I'll give this season. Y'all, y'all had no heart. No. <laughs> no. One, no. One of the million hearts left with Banu. And then no one had heart left Nobody. in the game. Every, <laughs> they was on some Rihanna Savage shit. I mean, Soda looked pissed. Tevin looked pissed. Tiffany looked pissed -er. Hunter, Hunter looked confused. Bless his damn heart. He does. I don't know. Like, is he like, am I still voted out? He's like, are we still on the island? Oh, okay. Well, tell me something. I really know what's going on. Can I still do a puzzle? Can, Can I, I do a puzzle I brought, now? I brought some puzzles with me. Can I do? I got puzzle? one in my. I got one in my bag in the back. Can I go ahead and pull and one? Oh, I can't sound do one. Like oh, that. Okay. He didn't even sound like, like goddamn Hunter. He he really does. He looks really confused. Like whenever the can the the camera pans to the jury, <laughs> everybody else is sit up here like this, like just cross and cross arm, just mean mugging. And Hunter ass is like this, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like baby pay attention now baby we right here <laughs> like oh my god it sounds like oh my god it sounds like a session with some of my guests over here over here yeah hi hey. right here here we go hi <laughs> bless his heart oh no yeah this is gonna be interesting it's gonna be real interesting again shout out to rob has a podcast um Please. he did the exit you, interview with content Gold yes, content. I told you. I told you his channel snaps because he does Big Brother. He does Deal or No Deal. Like he does all that. And I actually just started watching his podcast, watching these survivors um, um, as we've been reviewing this season. How I've not been following him, I don't goddamn know. As much you as I be searching for YouTube shit, I mean, um, searching for survivor stuff on YouTube, I don't know how he has never come up in my algorithm. But shout out to you, YouTube, for bringing Rob has a podcast in my algorithm because he did the exit interview with Q 
And he was saying, you know, when he got to the Ponderosa, what, you know, after he got voted out, how he came in with good energy and good spirit. And now everybody said hello. And the, 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 the. I was like, they was happy to see that your ass was there with them. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> finally see, yeah. To see that your ass finally got voted out. I know Venus was excited. Tiffany Girl. was definitely excited. Bonnie heard about it and he was excited. <laughs> no, yeah, I know he, he was. was. All right. <laughs> Jelinski ass too. I wonder how Jelinski would have done if he'd have stayed on this long. Who do you think? I think he would have been a. I think he would have been a stronger player than Q. To be honest, like I really do. I really do. I, I think mean, he would have done better than he than he thought. He if was they do. if they voted Bonu out first versus Jelinski, and then waited until a little bit further to go head to head between Q, I mm -hmm. could have seen it played out that way when they were still on. Yanu. There was no reason to get off Jess either. No, no, no. I, I think, still don't I think understand a lot of the reasons that. of why they voted was because they didn't get rid of Banu first because he did not do well in any of those challenges. He was that one of the main fair. causes. That just that was just not fair I'm to so Jess. She didn't broke, have, yeah, know. she didn't have a fight in chance. Just like, for Jess. I just feel like they they their personality probably didn't mesh with her personality and that was their reason for and getting rid of her. Like there was no reason to off. there was no reason. I yeah. think <laughs> And they they just they didn't have anybody else to vote for, so they voted for them. And um, I don't I'm, I feel like Randon was robbed of his opportunity on Survivor. I so agree. Survivor should definitely have Randon come back because we didn't really even he never went to a tribal. I think he would have been a strong player too. I think he would he have probably would have been a. I think it would have been him and Hunter because at some point Hunter was peeping out who was the best player to link mm -hmm. up with them. Mm -hmm. I agree, but I know he initially went with Tevin. But if he, if you don't know, because that he was giving off really good, mm -hmm. like foresight vibes too with Venus once he had that immunity. And he had the, and I know he would have played the damn immunity idol. I wonder if he would have, like, can I just play the immunity idol for my hand? <laughs> and you know what I'm thinking too? Maria knew. Maria, uh, Maria was the only one that knew that Q had that hidden immunity idol. I wonder if Maria is going to go out there and try to search to find that hidden immunity idol because she knows it went home with Q. So that way that will come. If she finds that's that. that's another reason why she didn't say it. anything. That's another reason that's why it. you don't say anything. You just that's collect it. information as you go and you just strategize, but you just don't reveal. Maria's done the best job. I mean, Maria done gave birth to you, bitches. I'm sorry. Maria gave mother all damn season. Like I said, she so wasn't far. in my top three, but so god damn it, and 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 I was a little, I was very ir very irritated with her last episode, but then this episode, I was like, Mama, that's just your karma. Like you know, no shade. I ain't being mean or nothing, but that's that's it your karma. It's happened to everybody in the it's game. Happened to, yes, so everybody has got their karma. Even though she's still my top three, I'm still rooting for her. But I know that she's been big headed a bit, and I understand. Yeah. Sometimes you are, but I think I, it was overcompensating because of the pain she felt. I'm yeah. not getting to read those letters, so she went in. The end, it was it was really deep this this time. That's why yeah, it was real for her. If I had to go with who I would see win, either Maria, number one, Kenzie, and Liz. I would like to see Liz win. I want her to get yeah, any kind of win. <laughs> you know, like she finally I was got so relieved. That was and, a win and, for her. I was happy. And she, her body responded to what was necessary. Yes. Like, I think that this is Liz and Q was voted out. Like, Liz won this episode. She this won. Is Liz's she episode. won three times. She took a shit. She got Chinese food. And then Q went home. Bing, bang, boom. That's it. <laughs> she has conquered the survivor gods. Okay. Like, come on now. Um, I, I again, and no shade towards Ben. I don't see him winning. I don't even really see Charlie winning because again, he was Maria's. He was the he was the Scooby to Maria Shag. He woke up late. He woke up late. Yeah, he overslept. 
it will be really neat to see Ben, Liz, and Kenzie at the end. That would be crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I was a jury, I'd be pissed. Oh. Ooh, I'd be hot like fire. Who would you? Hmm. If it we came down to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Who was it? It was who again? Ben, Liz, and Kenzie. I'd probably give it to Whoa. Kenzie. I'd give it to Liz. I'd be like, damn, girl. Yeah. You didn't eat. <laughs> You I didn't give it to Liz have a until day 22. I'd 22. give it to Liz if it were like Ben, Liz, and Charlie. I'd give it to Ben. Um, and no shade. I was really surprised Charlie had a girlfriend. I'm sorry. You're not the only one. <laughs> no shade, Charlie. You know what? I I I thought Charlie was going to say him and his partner. Yeah. I'm going to say it because I've been drinking a little bit. I did. I thought he was going to say him and his partner. But when I oh. see it, I was like, oh, Judy. <laughs> you got a good, good Judy. Okay. And yeah, she looks She looks really nice, Charlie. So She looks like uh, his type. Yeah, exactly. Really she nice. Like type. Next girl next door for a good, good guy. And he was even uh, Survivor just brings the worst out of people, and that's it. Yeah, Survivor's just a long, long season of you waiting at the airport. <laughs> like you waiting at the airport is what Survivor's <laughs> like. You're running low on energy. You haven't had a bowel movement. Oh you don't my know when God. the next time you're gonna go. I might go, but I don't want to leave because they might make that announcement from a flight. To make it to the I next round. That is a damn good analogy. I never thought about that. It just Guys, because, because a can of bliss, <laughs> you know, and, and mine is kicking in. Guys, we thank y'all so much for coming here and enjoying us ramble on and give uh, you, ramble. Our, you know, give ramble. our thoughts a about Survivor. Next weekend is the finale, y'all. Drop it down in the comments who you want to see win it all, okay? I, if I had to choose somebody in the end, based off of gameplay up to this point, I would have to give it to Maria. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder and Helen oh, Keller can see why oh. she needs to win. I mean, let's be for real. My top three would be Maria, Kenzie, and Liz. What about your top three? The yeah, the women. Boom. Bing, bang, boom. That's it. I mean, why not? Since why not? Since you just like dummies. <laughs> Go on, like girl. Dummies. That's that exactly. Go on, girl. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for coming through. This has been another episode of Survivor. We're gonna see y'all next week. Bye.